Hi guys, my name is Freddy and in this video series I will explain all the elements of the free Elementor page builder. In my opinion, the best page builder for WordPress. You can get it through ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. You can download it, upload it to your website and learn a ton of stuff about Elementor on this YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like it and if you are new here, please consider to subscribe for more upcoming WordPress tutorials. Now let's get started. In this video we will work with columns, I will show you how to have one area with three columns in it and then again one area how to make something like this using columns and how to have two buttons one at the left one at the right using columns so let's get started in this video we will take a look at the column element and maybe you think if i click on add new selection and i select columns i have columns i can create a third one or a fourth one why do i need this let me explain it to you I create a new section with one area and I click over here to edit it. Let me see, I create a background, I use an image. I make it minimum height, something like that. I go back to style, cover, background overlay, a little bit dark. And I change the opacity like that. What I can do now, I can click on the plus, I can add a heading, I can say welcome to London, bring it to the center, make it white, change the typography, something like that. But if I want to show three different areas where I want to offer some services, I cannot do it. So if I want to add an icon box, I want to give it a background. A little bit padding, margin. If I want to have three, I cannot do it because this is one column. What I can do is create a new section with three columns, drag it in there, I can close this and this one, duplicate it and duplicate it. But now I cannot bring it up here, I can do that, like that, using the margin minus. But we can do it a different way using columns like that. So I place a column in a column. I drag an element in that column. And now I can remove this one and I can say duplicate and duplicate. And now we can have three columns in one column. So a column is basically a way to show multiple things in a column within a column. And if I want to have a button for instance, I can have it below again, bring it to the center, say something, explore London, make it bigger, now if you take a look, it looks like that, you can use columns to create something like this, otherwise you need to play around with all those other settings, so this is the best way to do it. Another example, I add a template, this one, and I want to have a text over here and I want to place it in the middle. What I can do now, I can use a text editor, I drag it over here in this area, in this column, I can change the text, make it a lot bigger, create a background, which is white, change the padding a bit. 20 and now I want to bring this to the left so I click over here so at margin I uncheck this and off the left I say minus minus and now I can bring it to the center so let's see minus 200 like that and at the other hand I want to increase it so I have a text over here 250 250 but now I want to have a button here below. 
So I go to the button and I drag it over here and it looks like that. So now I need to do the same. I need to go to advanced and check this minus 250 like that. Also here minus 250. It's a lot of work to all this stuff. So here you also need a column. So let me remove this and remove this. I drag the column over here and I remove one. And now I again drag the text editor over here and now I can make this white. Then I drag the text editor in it. Now I have white background already. I change the text. Make it bigger. Like that. And now in the column, I go to advanced. Uncheck this and go to the left. Minus. And now you see it stays one area. So I say minus 250. And I can change the padding. Like that. But now if I want to add a button, I just can drag it here below. And it's there with the same background. Everything is already at the right place. So that's the big advantage of columns. You can have a column in a column, which gives you more flexibility to add more elements in one area. One more example. I add a template. Upload one from elementor.ferdicorpsu.com and it's over here, header version 2. And it looks like this. If I want to add a button, I drag it over here and I can align it in the middle or at the right, but maybe I want to have two buttons over here. So I can say duplicate, but now it is below each other and I want it next to each other. So again, I add a column. So I drag on here at the left and here one at the right. I click over here. I bring it to the left. And now I have two buttons using the column. So if you have more ideas about the column, please let me know. I really like this way of designing using the column elements. And this is the end result. Over here, three columns in one big section. We use columns to make something like this without too much editing and how to have two buttons next to each other. So good luck with making beautiful websites using the column element. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a ton of good stuff and feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.